Wiley Bulldog Softball returns. This exciting rivalry matchup between Abilene Cooper and Abilene Wiley is about to get underway. Joining me, the incredibly talented commentator, Jaden Fitsenko. Jaden, Good afternoon, you? everybody. I'm doing uh, great. It's a wonderful evening for ball. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this game turns out. And uh, let's see who comes out on top. Yeah, this is an exciting rivalry game between two district foes. And we're excited to bring you this one. This is coming at you live. And we don't really have proper internet out here, truth be told. So we always record a local VOD and upload it after. But just in case you see some stuttering or the stream is framing, that's what that is. And stick with us here. They are building a whole new press box next year. So presumably it will be better. Also worth noting, this is the maiden voyage of the baseball and softball stream as far as the season goes. Uh, before this season, there were no baseball and softball streams at all. So the Bulldogs here will, of course, begin by pitching, being at home. And we'll see how the things play out. She peers in for the sign, fires away, and that one's going to miss outside. Now, Jade and I saw this young lady pitch in the last game that we broadcast that she came in for relief. She throws very hard, and she has a very low release point. Right. Uh, from what I just saw... That page was a little bit outside. Uh, next page, and it was a, just a bit under. That's a second ball. Yeah, 2 0 count here, and she falls behind early, and that's always tricky to the leadoff batter. The leadoff batter in a baseball lineup is almost always going to have speed. It wasn't until the Billy Bean days where you really just started seeing on base percentage being utilized as one misses up and away there for a 3 0 count. That was a little high. I. She is. Uh, under in count, 3-0. Uh, let's see if she can bring it back here. Yeah, I would expect a heater here. I'd try to just split the plate here, essentially. And that one misses low. So ball four, the leadoff runner walks on four pitches. Always a vexing thing for the coach to walk the leadoff runner. And I mentioned stealing earlier. I forgot. There is no stealing in softball. But in baseball, you do see that. Yes. Now, in softball, with the tighter field, they can't lead off, so. Fire there. Top of the box right there. Nice 0-1 one, or, or one count. Yep, she finds the strike zone there. Very important, because if you walk the leadoff batter on four pitches, oftentimes it can feel like it's really hard to find that handle. The inning can get away from you very quickly with that third and fourth hitter coming up. That one skips in low as a back pick is attempted, but the first baseman not quite able to grab it in time to apply the tag. Right. So she'll step in here, 1-1 one, one count. Firing away. Bunt attempted. She Missed. misses. Yeah, that's a strike. You're good. So with two strikes here, I would expect something low. Again, her release point very low. That's something that's beneficial when it comes to inducing ground balls. So looking for either a strikeout or a double play here. And she gets a strikeout. The high, hard one does it. And a valuable first out for the dogs. There's a swing and a miss. It is now one out with a runner on first. <laughs> Absolutely, and whenever you consider the differences between softball and baseball, that release point from the pitcher is one that comes to mind, and a ball like that can have a significant amount of rise as we see another one, just like the one that was a strikeout, a little bit lower, but a high pitch that is very difficult to hit and has rising movement that you wouldn't see in baseball unless you're facing a submarine or, like, say, a guy like Chad Bradford. I just want to add on that previous pitch was a beautiful pitch. It was almost near perfect positioning uh, for a softball hitter. Totally agree. Away at the letters, it's going to be hard to really drive that ball at the speed and angle it's coming at. 0 oh, 2 count here. She'll fire. That one misses just away. Good waste pitch. Just outside. It was a good eye from the batter uh, that she didn't swing. It is now a 1 2 count. And one out. Appearing for the sign. Rock back and fire. That's another strikeout. 
on a low and away breaking pitch, so she has definitely found her command after issuing the leadoff walk. It is now two outs, runner on first, and the Bulldogs are looking for a third strikeout to in the top of the first. Yeah, she could look to strike out the side here. The catcher on deck. That one just misses low. 1-0 count, runner on first, two outs here in the top of the first inning. Softball game between Wiley and Cooper. Old school West Texas rivalry. Second strike looks to be just a bit too low. It is now a 2-0 count. A bit frustrated, she'll peer in for the sign. First baseman creeping in a touch. That breaking pitch clips the outside of the zone. 2-1. A beautiful bottom left corner from the pitcher. Yeah, she painted that corner in such a way where if the opposition were to get a hit, it would be right into the ground. And another beautiful pitch outside. Great control here to hammer the outsides of the zone. It is now an equal count of 2-2 two -two with two outs and a runner on first. Yep, and let's see if she can strike out the side like you alluded to earlier. That one misses just away. Full count. Full count, two out. She'll fire. Handcuff there right to the second baseman. Easy play for the third out of the inning. That was a beautiful play by the Bulldogs and a good cut from the from the batter. Yep. Uh, that pitch was also very well positioned for a ground ball. Yeah, I love how... A little bit low, a little bit uh, over the ball, and that caused it to go and be a ground ball. Yeah, exactly. She came up and in there and induced weak contact. We're going to shove it to break here. This is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. At Taylor Electric Cooperative, we are more than just the services we provide. For generations, we have been the link that has connected members to our local community. From those who remember when the lights were first turned on to those who rely daily on our high-speed fiber internet, we are here to make certain that those connections never dim. Because we understand that the most important connection we will ever make is the one we make together. At Taylor Electric, we have provided generations with services for living and connections for life. Wiley Bulldog softball returns. It was an uneventful top of the first inning. A leadoff walk was answered with three strikeouts. The Cooper Cougars taking the field. Wiley Bulldogs are going to see what they can get done on offense. Jaden, what do you look to happen early on in this inning? Well, for early on, you want to you wanna try and get an early on lead and try and pull away from the opposing team as well as you can and as efficiently as you can to uh, help give you the extra little push that you need to win. Absolutely. That's beautifully put. And whenever I consider Cooper's strengths, this is a team that is not only well coached but balanced. And I think that this is going to be an incredibly entertaining game throughout. So the last warm-up pitch is thrown there. And we're just about to get underway here in the bottom of the first. Beat off batter, taking some practice cuts. Opening pitch misses up and in. <laughs> More practice cuts. 
It's important as the leadoff batter to see as many pitches as possible, give your teammates a sense of what they're fighting. That one misses up and in again. It is now three balls and zero strikes. We saw the batter of the top of the first inning, the leadoff batter that is, walk on four pitches. Pitcher cycling to a new sign there, presumably to a heater. Looked off speed there and it misses. So the leadoff batter again walked on four pitches. She'll look down there for the sign, a hit and run maybe, or the bunt. Always a possibility after you get that leadoff runner on. The strike inside there. It was a very good pitch right down the pipe. Uh, amazing positioning, and if the batter did get a piece of that, I feel like that would have gone pretty far. Yeah, she's going to lay the bunt down here, and it's a good one. This is going to work as a sacrifice for sure, and more as that one gets airmailed into right field, the runner advancing to third, and the batter advancing to second. So that's what happens when you put the ball in play, you put the bunt on. People oftentimes are critical of the bunt, especially within the last 15, 20 years. However, we see one of its many pros, the ability to put pressure on the defense. Yeah. It is now zero out with a runner on third and second, both in scoring position as the batter walks up to the plate. Yes, and this is the pitcher here. We'll see what she can do. Heater up and in, gets the zone. Good strike. Uh, well placed, right on the inside where you don't really want to swing, otherwise it's going to hurt a bit. Yeah, those pitches up on the hands are really hard to do anything with. A lot of it comes down to leg work, firing those hips and getting the bat head around. Breaking pitch misses outside to draw the count to one to one. Appear in for the sign, rock back and deliver outside. Again, just a bit outside. It is now ball two and one strike with no outs. Now this is a big pitch here. Even with first base open, she doesn't want to put the spatter on in a 0 0 game. That one misses. Pitcher is now down in the count with three balls and one strike. Uh, it looks to be the batter's, uh, in the batter's favor. Absolutely. Advantage to the hitter here for sure. The pitcher delivers well inside. She'll draw a walk. And even with first base open, that one stings because now it's bases juiced, no outs, and the catcher for the Bulldogs is coming to bat. Very talented player. Coach Collier putting the signs on here. The pitcher here, staring in, rocking back and firing. That one, a definite breaking pitch. Slider, a softball equivalent, missing. One thing a pitcher doesn't want to do when bases are loaded is one, walk a batter, or two, give them an easy uh, hit uh, down the gap. Exactly. You don't want to give in is the point that you're making. You yes. don't want to give one up, just trying to get the ball over. Oftentimes, if the bases are juiced, you've walked someone in the process. So Maddie Fry here, the pitcher for Cooper, is peering in for the sign and doing anything she can to try to get this cleanup batter out. And that one's going to miss down and away to draw the count to two to one. Here's in and fires, and that one's chopped to the third baseman who gloves it, fires home for the out, and the force out occurs, prevents the run, bases are still juiced, one out. Bases are loaded, as uh, Mr. Singleton said previously, it is one out. Okay. 
She's going to stare in here. And with bases loaded here, she's going to do anything she can to get out of this jam. Wiley knocking on the door. She'll rock back and throw a breaking pitch that misses away. Just a bit outside, not what the pitcher was looking for. It is now 1-0 with one out. Yep. Pitcher here. Firing. Another breaking pitch missing away. So, a high amount of breaking pitches being seen in this first inning. Not really trusting our fastball so much. Two zero count. She really wants to get this one over. It's a breaking pitch away that also misses. Three zero count. Nowhere to put her. Pivotal pitch coming here, Jaden. Yep. So Maddie will retreat back to the pitcher's mound, gaze in, try to get one over, and it's way up and in, and that'll walk in a run. So the Bulldogs are going to take a lead here, 1-0 in the bottom of the first. Bases are still loaded with only one out in the count. Uh, the Bulldogs are still looking to score a tad bit more before any of them gets taken out for good. Yeah, with only one out, they're certainly looking to pour it on here as the pitch is called a strike there. An inside pitch called a strike there. That one is so hard to hit, man, right on the hands. And if you're a batter, that's one of those that even if it is a strike, which it was, you can't really do anything with it unless you really get turned around on it. So the 0-1 count here, that one misses high, 1-1. Maddie Fire is that one chopped back. Just tip foul. Uh, it is now one ball, two strikes. Yep. And Maddie here in a position where she could is potentially looking to get out of the inning in what was looking to be somewhat of a nightmare inning with one out and two strikes. A double play can get you there. A strikeout's well within the realm of possibility. This is a big pitch for the pitcher. For Cougar. Checks your plays, fires. That one slammed past third, fair. That'll be extra bases. And that one rolls up the arm of the third baseman, the left fielder, and rolls near the wall. Fired off into the cutoff, man. It's an easy triple for the Bulldogs. Well played. That was a beautiful hit down the left field foul line. Yep. Uh, perfect placement. And she got really lucky with that bounce off the arm to get her that uh, extra base. Yeah, that one laced down third with a lot of velocity, kicked up on the left fielder, and got the Bulldogs a couple extra bases, although I think in truth only one, I think that would have been a double for sure. Usually when you get a hit right down the line like that, it's two for sure, as the heater clips the outside part of the zone for strike one. And George will step in after seeing a couple pitchers returning to the box. Gay fires. Beautiful breaking pitch. Missed her back completely for strike two. So with the Bulldogs having already posted four runs, the pitch here is going to be fouled away. Maddie Fry trying to escape this first inning. With one ball and two strikes. Looking for the punch out here. Fouled away again. Foul tip straight to the dugout. Uh, not what she was looking for. I feel like she's looking for at least a base hit to bring uh, the runner on third home. 
sure, an but extra run. Absolutely, but fouling balls off, also a sign that you're on the pitch to some extent and you're staying alive. It also brings their pitch count up, so certainly she would have liked to send that one into fair territory, but certainly better than a swing and a miss. Right. And that one again is clobbered into the ground, but that's what you call a productive out, as that scores the run, bringing the score to 5-0 dogs. See, there's a difference between unproductive outs and productive outs. Example of an unproductive out, strike out, pop up. Right. But even a ground out like that, uh, a ball that is way outside that you take a defensive swing out and hit into the ground. Great example of how uh, defensive play and defensive situational swinging can benefit you. Yes. Because if there was no one on, she probably would have let that ball outside go. However... With two strikes, you have to play more defensive. This is something Joe Madden, formerly of the Cubs, preached. And a productive out there, and that's the dogs a fifth run in the opening frame. Breaking ball there, eclipse the outside of the zone. Strike one. That one's laced into right field for a single. Beautiful hit by number 14, Turner. So the Bulldogs looking to continue to pour it on here with number one, Bruning, stepping into the plate. That one's fired and misses high. Now remember, there is a mercy rule in softball that starts to occur at the double-digit lead mark. So that's something to keep in mind as the Bulldogs open up an early lead like this. That one hammered, but the shortstop trying to cover the action and misses as a result. So runners on first and second now. She got a piece of that uh, for the single and went straight through shortstop they got between th shortstop and third base and they just weren't able to get through and stop the ball and it uh, ended up going out to the left center field yep and that was great action from the runner on first to induce the shortstop trying to cover there she was caught a bit out of position by happenstance which is a brutal thing if you're a middle infielder as that one misses up and in for ball one two outs here maddie fry trying to get out of the first inning Bulldogs currently lead, 5-0. to zero. Runners on first and second. They've batted around in the first. That one missing well inside, almost hitting the first baseman in the knee. That's Michaela Reed, one of the stars of the team. A very consistent, consistent player. That one misses inside as well to draw the count to three to zero. The batter is now up in count, as previous said, three zero with a runner on first and second. Yeah, and potentially getting the take sign here, potentially getting the green light, uh, but a pitch here likely to find the zone. And it misses high. So that base is juiced here. That walk uh, now, now made the bases loaded with two outs and five runs up. The Lady Bulldogs look to uh, extend that lead even further. Yes, and this could be a brutal extension of the lead with the bases juiced here. An incredibly important batter for the pitcher here out on the mound. And it's been a long first inning for her, Jaden. Yeah, very long first inning. Uh five runs being scored, and she just wants to get out of this inning. Absolutely. That one sliced to right field and will fall for a single. Slung in to the catcher, and a play at the plate will burn the runner down. Great throw there from the right fielder, but the Bulldogs net the run there, and it's a great opening frame from them with six runs. So we're going to throw it to commercial break here. This is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. At Borland Sobin & Partners, we're in our third decade of providing high-quality, affordable dental care in Abilene and the big country. 
Our family-friendly clinic offers comprehensive dental care for adults and children. Anything from hygiene and preventative care to cosmetic dentistry and dental implants. Then don't worry, we do emergency services too. Our team of professionals understands the latest dental techniques and technology and welcome your questions as we develop the perfect treatment plan for you. And best of all, we offer same-day appointments if you're in pain. So schedule your appointment today and we'll see you soon. When it comes to finding the right vehicle for you, there's no better place than Lawrence Hall in Abilene. For over 34 years, Lawrence Hall in Abilene has been the place to find the best from Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. And that is still true today. Great products and great service, too. So the next time you need a new car, truck, or SUV, come see us or shop 24-7 at LawrenceHallAbilene.com. Voted Abilene's best new car dealer for over 28 years by you, our customers. Wiley Bulldog softball returns if you're experiencing lag. That's normal. We don't have real legitimate internet out here, but we are recording a local VOD. So after the stream ends, we can get a copy of it there that is bereft of any sort of stuttering. So it's not on our end as the AV team. It is an internet issue. Wiley here in the top of the second inning, leading 6-0, to zero, looking for a shutdown inning. Out of their hard thrower. And Cooper really needs to get something going here after the rough first frame. Way back in the top of the first, the pitcher walked the leadoff batter, four pitches, but then immediately struck out the side. Great play from her. The Bulldogs are looking for another three outs before any scores. Allie Russell here fires. And that one called a touch high, just as it was for the Cooper pitcher, ball one. That one misses just away. So two pitches barely off the plate there to draw the count to 2-0. and oh. But I would categorize the strike zone, the strike zone as consistent early. Hallie steps in, fires. That one sliced well foul into right field. That was a good foul tip. Uh, instead of taking the stri looking strike, she instead focuses on the pitch and just swings a bit too late for it to go anywhere. Yeah, got a little bit of bat on the ball, just missed it. Fires again, heater on the corner. That's a perfect pitch. Right there, right at the knees, right on the corner, painted with the paintbrush there from Russell. <laughs> Exceptional play. Beautiful pitch. And here with two strikes, I want to see an identical carbon copy of that as it's nearly unhittable. Let's see what she does. I think she was going for it, that one, a little bit high. Now, I remember in baseball, whenever you release late as the pitcher, the ball will go glove side and down but in softball since you're throwing underhand oftentimes when you release late it'll be high so i think she released a touch late there and with the count going to full she'll fire inside jamming the batter the ball sailing foul into the right field bullpen another foul uh she she drags on this bat at bat even longer trying to get a piece of it trying to make a good play trying to get on base or in scoring position. Absolutely. She's being pesky. That's what you want to do when you lead off an inning, especially whenever you just had a six spot hung on you. Cooper trying to get momentum here, and Hallie just misses away. That one just a touch up. So the leadoff batter on again on a walk. That's tough. With a walk, uh, with the leadoff batter being walked, that is a sure uh, mood downer for the pitcher. But she, as she showed last inning, she can bring it back and strike everyone out. Absolutely. You know, those leadoff walks are killer. She recovered from it last time as you see a pinch runner coming out here. Now, in softball, you're able to, in baseball, high school level for that matter, too, you can use subs in a more liberal way. Once a player is subbed, once it's denoted to the umpire, they can come back in. That's a one-time thing for the player, I believe. But 
that player being subbed out isn't permanent like it would be in MLB. Right. Just for the record. So Halley stares in, slings it, the bunt, well foul. Now that's what happens when you pitch in. Of course, the bat will get more narrow the closer the handle it gets. Thus, whenever you get jammed trying to bunt, uh, your range of, uh, your area you have to make an error, your room for error, your margin for error is basically nothing. If you get jammed with a bunt, it's going to be foul. So oftentimes, if you see a player showing bunt or suspect a bunt, a heater up and in can be the pitch you want to go for. And she gets one over the plate there as the batter swings away and fouls it off for strike two. Just chipped it off. Uh, good swing, just a little bit under the ball. In that previous bunt, the reason batters want to hit in the barrel uh, is because they have more control over the ball. The thinner it gets and the more angled it gets towards the handle, the more wild the ball is going to go. Absolutely. And Halley slings one, and that one's hit just to the shortstop, who makes a perfect throw to the first baseman, who corrals it, throws it back to second, and the pinch runner narrowly dives back in time. That was a great play by shortstop. Opting to go for the first base instead of tie, or then a force out at second. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed in softball is because the rush distance from base to base is shorter, the double play less common and harder to turn. Also worth noting, the softball travels at a lower rate of speed and is slightly less dangerous. Thus, a double play is harder to turn. Heater clips the outside part of the zone and a delayed steal being attempted. Exceptional base running there from the speed flea as the pinch runner does an incredible job. And that is number 13, Alvarado. And if you noted what she did was called a delay, it's a delayed steal where you don't steal immediately and you take advantage of uh, the defense being lax or the ball being transferred or signs being gathered. Now, with the rush distance being so short, that play is way more powerful than it is in baseball. Heater away, clips the outside part of the zone. Great pitch, right on the outside. Painted the edge of the strike zone for a great pitch and the second strike. Halley in position, peers in, 0-2 count, fires, and that one's a touch low. Back pick there to the pinch runner on third. They're back. 1-2 count, one out, top of the second. She misses there. D right three. Russell burns her down. Huge strike out there with the runner on third. Two outs. Ali in a great position here after that strikeout. Stee right three. She's pounding the outside part of that zone really has command of that pitch. She'll meander back to the mound in total control here. That one a touch low. Now usually when she misses, she does miss low, which isn't a bad thing. Oftentimes you do want to miss low. That one bunted foul. Two strikes. And down six to zero. They were really trying to put pressure on the Bulldogs defense with that speedy runner on third. Desperately trying to get that run home. But now, one, two count. It'll be hard. Allie Russell peers in and fires. And that is a perfect pitch. The ump rings her up. Exceptional zone there as Hallie was just painting with the 
paintbrush like Picasso there. I mean, just masterful work there on the corners of the zone, Jaden. Yeah, beautiful pitch. Uh, that would be the third strike, holding uh, Cooper at a zero-run stand at the uh, going the into the second. bottom half. Yep, bottom of the second inning. This is Wiley Bulldogs softball powered by Taylor Electric. Whether an organized team sport or walk around your neighborhood, Hendrick Clinic Bone and Joint, Action Sports Medicine, and Action Physical Therapy understand the importance of keeping your family moving. From diagnosis to recovery, our team of physicians, orthopedic surgeons, and physical therapists provide personalized care for sports injuries, joint pain, and more. With state-of-the-art technology and more than 40 years of experience, our team will get you back to what keeps you moving. Searching for an internet provider for your home or business? Westex Connect is celebrating 20 years of providing fast, reliable wireless internet with products and services to meet the needs of both residential and business class. Westex Connect offers packages designed to meet your budget so you can stream all your favorite music, movies, and shows and play the hottest games with fast, reliable in home Wi Fi. And Westex Connect is local, just a phone call away. Call 325 673 1930 or log on to WTConnect.com. Wiley Bulldog softball returns. The Cooper Cougars at a 6-0 deficit. Going back on defense here, the vaunted Bulldog assault. We'll see if they can continue the damage they did in the first inning in the bottom of the second. Joining me, talented student commentator, Jaden Fitsenko. Jaden, what do you think about this? This is a great ball game here for both teams, uh, especially the Bulldogs. They're able to put the ball down and get some runs scored. Uh, they're able to move and get through the Cooper's defense. And here we go, first pitch. That one sails high for a ball. Now, if you're wondering about the pitching situation, we have the same pitcher out there that we did in the first inning. That's number three, Maddie Fry. And her control was decent. Although whenever she missed, it was usually with a breaking pitch away. That one slice foul. Yeah, and whenever it comes to that brutal first inning from Wiley, we have to consider as that one sails way far and away, her first wild pitch of the outing. When we consider like the power of Wiley and how well they work together and why they were able to score all those runs, a lot of it comes down to proper base running, making contact, and the solid next person up approach. That one gets the outside part of the zone and will be a strike. Full count here. She will roam around a bit, collect her thoughts. And that is the pitcher herself, Hallie Russell. She wants to get on base, help her own cause. And she does, lacing it right back up the middle. An exceptional hit on the screws, and it goes past the center fielder. Both hits from Wiley of extra base variety, ending around the third sack. A triple for the exceptionally talented hard carry player, Hallie Russell. A beautiful triple, as you said, right down the gap, right through every single defender. Uh, what I've noticed about the, this Lady Bulldog offense is that they work like a well-oiled machine. Everything they do is strategic and planned out, and it all just works so smoothly. Absolutely. That comes down to good coaching. That also comes down to good teamwork. So here comes the cleanup hitter. As a pitch is thrown, it is called a strike. Yeah, good pitch. Well played. That one misses outside. You know... Uh, big ups and a big shout-out to everyone on the AV team coming with me 
to do the broadcast tonight. I've got some real heavy hitters with me tonight, and I really appreciate all of them. As that one is slapped to shortstop, she'll look at home, know that it's over, and then airmail her throw to first base. The Bulldogs played another run, and that's going to be a two-base error as the Dogs have another runner on third, one of their best players, their incredibly talented cleanup hitting catcher, Cameron Gregory. That was a great uh, hit, but the reason she got to third was because of the high ceiling ball to first base. Yeah, and that's one of those situations where you see the runner on third, and you look over, and it's almost like a longing thing. You want to make that out. You know you're down in the game. You want to make the hero play. And when you don't make that play, that's on your mind as you make that throw. And that can affect your release point. Yes, that decision is like a red pill, blue pill type situation. You either take the force at first or the, or the attempt at a tag out down at home plate. Yeah, that's beautifully put because whenever you understand the dichotomy of the tag versus the force, the force at first, very clearly the more consistent play. But her looking over at that runner before uh, seemingly tainting the throw as that one was just a little low and away. So 7-0 here for the dogs, threatening the run rule, and the Cooper pitcher fires up and away for ball one. You know, that's the majority of Maddie Fry's misses have come away like that. Uh, she's used a lot of breaking pitches, and I think her stuff's been good, but the Bulldogs have really been able to tear up as it's teed up right there, blasted into right field for another run. Beautiful single there from the talented third baseman, and the Bulldogs here have eight. That was a beautiful hit right down over second baseman, touches ground, in right field, and a beautiful single RBI. Exactly, and the Bulldogs are taking what the pitcher is giving them. Maddie is using a lot of pitches away, and it looks like she might get the hook here as the Bulldogs have been able to utilize their patient approach, serving her off-speed offerings to the opposite field and continuing to pour on the assault. The coach is talking to her a little bit, and it looks like we're going to get a new pitcher here as I think her off-speed pitches uh, weren't really as effective as they are in her usual starts or perhaps that the Bulldogs are just so lethal, perhaps a combination of both. But we're looking at a new, uh, new pitcher here, and it looks like it's going to be number 11. That is Peyton Ellis. So Peyton Ellis is going to start to warm up a bit here. And with an 8-0 deficit, Jaden, I think we have a lot of good things to talk about when it comes to the Bulldogs. What have been some of the things that have jumped out to you about their incredible play? So what jumped out to me is that they have been incredibly patient with the pitches. There have been balls, there have been strikes, but it looks to me that whenever they make contact, their contact is good. It has always been accurate down the gap and their running abilities are just as impressive uh, as they round the bases with such efficiency that they can move on and move forward into scoring position. Exactly. And as we have a touch of a delay here as the pitcher is about to warm up, we're going to throw it to a bit of an ad break. This is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. When First Financial Bank opened its doors in 1890, a relationship between a local community bank and a state was born. For more than 130 years, First Financial has grown alongside you, your family, your business, all while putting your goals first. From the ports to the plains. First Financial Bank, Weird Texas. Whether an organized team sport or walk around your neighborhood, Hendrick Clinic Bone & Joint, Action Sports Medicine, and Action Physical Therapy understand the importance of keeping your family moving. From diagnosis to recovery, our team of physicians, orthopedic surgeons, and physical therapists provide personalized care for sports injuries, joint pain, and more. With state-of-the-art technology and more than 40 years of experience, our team will get you back to what keeps you moving. 
Searching for an internet provider for your home or business? Westex Connect is celebrating 20 years of providing fast, reliable wireless internet with products and services to meet the needs of both residential and business class. Westex Connect offers packages designed to just design to meet your budget so you can stream all your favorite music, movies, and shows and play the hottest games with fast, reliable in-home Wi-Fi. And Westex Connect is local, just a phone call away. Call 325-673-1930 or log on to wtconnect.com. Wiley Bulldogs softball returns. The Wiley Bulldogs commanding this game. They're up 8-0, to zero, playing exceptionally well as a team, and their pitcher, Haley Russell, is throwing a gym so far through two frames. We're in the top of the third here with a runner on first base. The starting pitcher has been pulled with no outs, and replacing her is a hard thrower, Peyton Ellis, whose ball moves significantly, and she looks to have a significant amount of lateral movement on her pitches here. Another thing I, uh, we saw was that she had a lot of control with these pitches, which I feel might be devastating for the Bulldogs batters. Yep. And it looks as though she is going to throw a high ball for her opening pitch. Peering in for the sign. I'm interested to see this pitch we saw in warm-up that looked to be almost like screwball movement, running arm side uh, into the right-handed batter. There it is right there, I think. Although maybe she has two variations of it because in the warm-up it was extraordinarily fast. That one looking to be more of like a true screwball style pitch. That one lays to the third baseman who knocks it down but is going to be unable to make the play. So she prevents extra bases but is unable to accrue the out. That was a good stop by third baseman. Uh, she was looking probably for the out or the uh, double play at most. But she was able to stop the ball, get it down, and stop any more advances. And that's crucial because it keeps the double play in order here for the Cooper Cougars who still do not have an out in the inning. As a bunt is being put on here, right back to the pitcher. She doesn't know what to do with it, has to eat it, as the incredible speed of seven blistered down the line. That was so well done by her. And wow, that's Kinsey George who made it down the line after that bunt. Great call there from the coach to put the bunt on with such a speedy, swift player. Now base is juice, no outs, eight to zero. You're in all kinds of trouble here if you're Cooper. Fires it just high. We've seen a very consistent zone so far, and a zone that doesn't give the really high strike. But uh, a very consistent zone, as I've said multiple times throughout the broadcast, is that one nearly extra bases, but foul, thankfully for Cooper. If you're just tuning in, Yes, we know it's laggy, it's the internet, it is not anything that we can do on our end, and it is certainly not the fault of the AV team. Cooper here had a big deficit after the Wiley Bulldogs put the pressure on early, like Alec Manoa, and here's the pitch right down the middle and again fouled west of the third base line. One, two, count, no outs, bases juiced, 8 oh dogs. She looks to be swinging just a tad bit early, early enough for it to go foul right after contact. Absolutely. So you would be curious to see if the pitcher is going to slow it down more or maybe try to take advantage of that bat speed and throw the heater. And it's the heater away. She knocks it down to the shortstop, and there's going to be no play again. 9-0 Bulldogs is a master class of base running and contact baseball is being put on here by the Wiley Lady Bulldogs. This is a beautiful offense by the Lady Bulldogs. Another thing I, uh, I would like to point out is that beautiful, slow-moving pitch that the pitcher just couldn't get to, and neither could the shortstop. Yeah, that's one of those bleeders that's in no man's land. It's brutal if you're on defense, as that off-speed pitch clips the outside part of the zone to make the count 0-1. Still no outs here for the Dogs, who hold a commanding 9-0 lead against their crosstown rival. That one handcuffs the batter, third baseman, Oh, but it's foul. A break for the dogs as that was potentially a double play ball. Yes. 
That was a very lucky move for the uh, Lady Bulldogs, as that, as previous mentioned, could have been a double play, but at minimum, it was a force out and a run scored. Absolutely. So with the 0-2 count here, the Dogs' relentless assault is going to continue, and that one's hit right to the shortstop. Taylor made double play ball. There to the third baseman. She gets the lead out, and with this Bulldog speed and this rush distance, again, the double play is something that is very difficult to pull off when you compare it to baseball. When you think about the double play in baseball, uh, the ball has to be hit very hard to travel to the fielder quick enough to be turned into two. Between the shorter rush distance and the shorter, uh, the slower ball travel time, double play very hard unless it's like a force as that off-speed pitch is going to clip the outside part of the zone for strike one. The Bulldogs up 10-0 here, double digits early, Jaden. Yep. A very, very large lead in the bottom of the second inning. Uh... Yeah, that one to the shortstop. She'll take the attempted out to the second baseman who isn't able to corral it. That one slides into the outfield, and the Bulldogs keep pouring it on. It's 11-0. That was a beautiful, beautiful play, uh, and the Bulldogs took advantage of that missed throw scoring and getting a runner on third which is scoring position yes every time there is a slight miscue by cooper the bulldogs capitalize every time the bulldogs get a hit they take the extra base this is good coaching this is also a benefit of constantly putting the ball in play as an off-speed pitch misses inside there right as first base runner advanced to second now you have two runners in scoring position up 11-0. Bulldogs here still threatening. As you pointed out, wild pitch there uncorked. It's going to be a play at the plate. The catcher unable to get the handle. And the Bulldogs up by a dirty dozen here in the bottom of the second. That was a beautiful steal of home after the uh, way outside pitch. Uh, that brings them up to 12-0 and a runner on third. Yes, the Bulldogs playing nearly flawlessly across the board here. This is about to be as many points as the football team put up against Cooper. We're at 12 here as that one is fouled on the third base line. She swung at that a bit low and a bit, well, it looked to be early and inside, causing the foul uh, and preventing another run. Yeah, it was a good pitch that jammed her. You're dead on with that. 2-1 count, one out. Bulldogs still giving Cooper fits. That one's hammered past the third baseman to the shortstop. She'll sling it across the field, but it's safe. More exceptional speed there, paying off for the dogs. Nothing defensively incorrect occurring, just more good base running from the talented Lady Bulldogs who are up a staggering 13 runs. Our Lady Bulldogs are very quick, and the Cooper defense sometimes isn't quick enough to react to uh, the Bulldogs' quick and speedy uh Base running. Absolutely. The Wiley Assault, very agile as they've batted around here again in this inning. And bunt being shown but pulled back and the steal being attempted and no contest there. The Coop Cooper is in a very, very bad position. They have a runner. We have The Bulldogs have a runner on second, which is scoring position. One out, no strikes, one ball, and a batter up. Yeah, and, to, and to clear up a point I was making earlier, the leadoff, not a factor in softball, but steal is. I misspoke a touch earlier there. But when we look at the Cooper pitcher, this was someone who looked very good in warm-ups and has shown stolid stuff, number 11, Peyton Ellis, firing an off-speed pitch on the outside part of the, part of the plate to draw the count to one-to-one. -to -one. But the Lady Bulldogs are just so on it. This is a team that is uh, just stacked from top to bottom. Incredible contact hitters, hitters with gap power to boot. That one taken for a ball low and away, and she's easily going to swipe third. No contest again. Incredible speed from the top of the order hitter. That's Olivia Vols over there on third base. She was playing center field and batting second, and she's been a nightmare on the base pass even as soon as the ball was hit off the bat. One thing I would like to say is that 
uh, the Bulldogs have a very good eye for the ball. They are able to make contact and good contact at, at that. That is a run, but also an out. Yep, an RBI ground out there for Haley Russell. We'll make it 14-0. So a football score indeed. The Bulldogs up by 14. The offense really showing what they're made of, putting a thumping on their crosstown rivals. This is an absolutely beautiful game for the Bulldogs. Up 14-0. This is an amazing early on lead and a very high early on lead at that. Yep. That one smacked right to the third baseman. She'll fire it. The first baseman reels it in and an out occurs. And for the Cooper Cougars, the inning mercifully comes to an end. The Bulldogs up by 14 runs here going into the third inning. This is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. Ever wonder how football is like real estate? The huddle. We call this the pregame, where we meet to explain the process. The fumble. This is why you hire us so you don't fumble across horrible service. The visiting team. It's negotiating time. The blitz. We blast your home to over 300 sites and have a detailed marketing plan. And finally, the end zone celebration, a.k.a. closing day and the big win. So when you know someone looking to get in the game, send them our way. The Brandy Smith team at REMAX has been on top of our game since 2008, thanks to all our amazing past clients and referrals. Wiley Bulldog softball returns, and Wiley is putting a thumping on Cooper. They're up 14 0. And the mercy rule here in high school softball is if you have a 15 run advantage after the end of the third inning, that's the game. The Bulldogs here, behind the incredible pitching of Hallie Russell, have blanked the Cooper Cougars in the first two frames. Uh, Hallie looking very difficult to deal with, throwing hard. Lots of movement on her pitches. And in the second inning specifically, she did a great job commanding the outside of the zone. So when you look at this game, it's do or die time for Cooper because presumably they're not going to be able to shut Wiley out completely in the bottom half of the frame. So what I want to see, uh, what a Cooper fan would want to see rather, was some runs from Cooper here in the top part of the frame because Wiley's offense is so lethal that Keeping him off the board completely is a nearly unfathomable task. Right. Uh, Cooper here is looking for a, a few runs at least. They are wanting to get back into this game if possible. Absolutely. A difficult task, though, with Haley on the mound. She's been in control the entire game. And in a previously broadcasted game on this channel, which you should subscribe to, she was very good as well. Heater up and away there, and a foreboding omen for the Cooper Cougars to see that pitch with razor point precision after Haley got to hit twice in that last inning. Still looking very strong here, and that one bounces in, the catcher corrals it. And when she misses, usually she misses low. She has a very low release point, a snappy delivery, and a delivery that's hard to pick up in many regards. Right. As previous mentioned, previously mentioned, it is when it's out, it's low. But you also got to remember, it's a very fast pitch. So she might be able to get one swinging if they're not careful. Absolutely. And she already has the batter to two strikes here. Really important to get the leadoff hitter on if you're Cooper. Rocks back and fires. That one misses a touch away. It's been all Wiley so far as she misses outside again to draw the count full. The Bulldogs are looking for a strike out while, the, while Cooper is looking for a walk to get their runner on first base. Absolutely. They'll take anything they can get, will the Cougars, as she fires inside and low just a touch. 
She smiles sardonically at the call, and that's another leadoff walk. That was a good thing for, the, for Cooper, as they now have a runner on the base and can potentially get a run. Yeah, it's incredibly important to get that leadoff batter on base when you try to mount a rally. Haley fires that one with a little bit of extra venom, almost misses high. And to remind you about something I mentioned earlier, obviously pitchers and softball underhanded. So if you overthrow the ball because you're angry, it's going to be high as opposed to baseball where it'll be low because you release it late overhand. So Haley, putting a little bit, or uh, Hallie, excuse me, putting a little bit extra behind that. This is again down and in. Two zero. That one framed, but also low. So one of the ways that Cooper could conceivably get back in this game are a bunch of walks. Right. Uh, Cooper is now up in the count with three balls and zero strikes. That was very good for Cooper. Misses. Oh, that one called inside strike. Good call there by Blue. Allie is going to walk back off the mound, peer at the runner. That one handcuffs the batter and the shortstop unable to corral it. So it's going to be first and second here for the Cooper Cougars as that looked like to be a pretty easy force at second off the bat, but unfortunately unable to convert. So no outs here for the Cooper Cougars trying to regain momentum in this game, although regain is a funny word because they never really had it. The score sitting at 14 to 0. Hallie Russell's been in control all game. We're starting to see uh, the first faults in her armor. This is the first time she's really been in any sort of legitimate trouble. That was a great swing and a miss. Great pitch. Yep. Immediately recapturing momentum, and that's what she did in the first inning. Walked the first batter, then suddenly she really found it. Second inning was near perfect. And in this inning, establishing that outside heater, I think, is key. It's her signature pitch. And it's attempted there, a bunt dying down the first base line, an exceptional bunt, that one dying right in no man's land, running purple, uh, parallel with the first base line. That was actually a very near perfect bunt going down the foul line and not knowing if it was going to roll out foul or stay fair. The pitcher and catcher had no idea what to do uh, with, that, with that move. Exactly. And you, in, in, in essence, just captured the two elements of a bunt that are most important, the distance and speed and where it is relative to the foul line. Essentially, that being the best of both worlds where it's parallel to the line and the players converge in meeting it, essentially meaning that there's going to be no play. Ball was just a bit outside, making the count 1-0. Coach Collier going to come out here as her ace is... Having a little bit of control issues here after starting the game nearly flawlessly, giving her a bit of a breather perhaps. And with the bases juiced here, I think it's a phenomenal move by the coach to pump the brakes a little bit. Right. Uh, I feel like the Bulldogs coach is probably going to give our starting pitcher a uh, breather and bring in a backup or potentially even a closer if this is the end of the game. Well, I'm interested in the way that you sort of framed it there because when you say end of the game, you accurately identify the fact that there is a run rule here in the third, and if the Bulldogs can hold them here, essentially one run wins the game, and it's an incredibly brutal thing to try to come back from if you're Cooper to not score in this frame. So Coach Collier pumping the brakes there, giving her team a little pep talk, saying, hey, let's just throw strikes here, get the ball in play, presumably as the heater clips the outside part of the zone. And you love to see that if you're Wiley. That's a pitch that's going to induce a lot of weak contact if you can even hit it. That little breather gave our team what we needed. We're looking to be back into this game. Yep. Weak contact induced. They go home and they call the out there. Great play there. Great gutsy play there to go home despite the massive advantage. Because like you said, 
this is sort of like a weird save situation in a way. If you can keep it to 14 to 0 here, you're setting yourself up for an exceptionally easy finishing move in the final inning. Right. Now we have one out. Bases are still loaded. Yep. Wiley is looking for two strikeouts here. The incredibly talented first baseman, Kinsey Turner, throwing the ball home there was great. That one misses away. What a heady uh, play by her, Kinsley Turner, to go home with that because it might seem like, well, why would you go home in a 14-0 game? Well, then you keep the force at every base. It doesn't just have to do with the run rule. Great smart play from her. Heater just misses there. 2-0 count. After that second ball and what uh, previously was said, uh, another reason why they threw it home was to keep it 14-0 and to not give up their perfect score. Absolutely. That's a good point. That one misses just inside as the outside pitch was not working for her at the beginning of the at-bat. Tries to bust her in, and now it's a 3-0 count. So Hallie Russell running into some trouble here in the top of the third inning in danger of walking in the first run for Cooper. That one is a strike right in the perfect spot. That's where she likes to put it. She likes to attack that upper outside part of the zone. That was a beautiful pitch, but you got to remember, Cooper is still up 3-1 in this count. They're still in it. Absolutely. A ball here walks a run in. Beautiful pitch there. That's the signature Hallie Russell sort of low pitch, sort of like a rattlesnake in many ways. Low, uh, venomous. It's a pitch that comes up there with some bad intentions and is hard to pick up out of her hand. Full count with one out. And that one is waved at. Strike three, her signature pitch, the heater away. Accrues the second out of the inning. And she's in a position where if she escapes trouble here, the Bulldogs are going to be in a beautiful position to put the finishing moves on Cooper. All they need is one more run. To one run rule them, you need 15 at the end of the third inning. So this is huge. The score says 14-0. It might as well say 1-0 within the context of the game as that one misses inside. Yes, with two outs, but also bases load, lo uh, loaded, you have to remember, right now it's anyone's game. Any single uh, event can change the game. Sure, with the bases loaded, they're certainly in a good position to try to chip away as she gets the up and outside strike call. But this really is the flashpoint batter. Right. Because if Cooper, even if Cooper just scores two or three runs, you know, it, it changes the implications of the run rule in some ways. The way that it's working now is it's almost like playing sudden death, trying to right. play against that one run. When you consider the lethality of the Bulldogs offense, they put up six runs in the first frame, eight runs in the second. Hallie fires. Oof. That one just missing. A touch low, perhaps. I would like to add on to what you said about sudden death. Right now, it's anyone's ball game. If we hold them at zero, or if the Bulldogs hold them at zero and they score one more, game is over. That is the run rule. But if uh, Cooper scores, they may still be into this. Yeah, back pick over at third attempted, and she's safe. Great look from the catcher. Uh, almost there, but not quite. Well, a lot of times you can catch someone sleeping with a play like that. Yes. Especially at third, like, and, and if you're there running on third, you're not thinking about going. So Hallie fires. That one is fouled off to draw the count full. So a massive pitch coming up here in the game. Full count, two outs. This pitch really decides the rest of this inning. If we're going to make it even further than only 15 runs, or if it's going to stop right here if we score again at 15 runs. Hallie potentially pitching for a complete game, three-inning shutout here. She's been exceptional so far. Let's see what the big pitch is here. And it misses up and away, and she walks a run in. I feel like the pressure got to her right there. It is now one to or 14 to one. Uh, Bulldogs are still up. Uh, let's see if she can pull this back and keep them from scoring anymore. Yeah, and as far as pressure goes, I certainly understand what you're trying to say. She really wanted that batter. 
it wasn't like the pressure of blowing the lead per se, more the pressure of completing her phenomenal start and achievement. She understood as well as we did what that pitch meant, put a little bit too much on it. Now she'll have to work to the subsequent batter with two outs. And that one's fouled away for strike one. That was a good chop there from number 23. And number 23 is... Bree... Castillas. Castillas. Mm-hmm. Ali is going to meander back to the mound, rock back and fire, heat her away. Swings right through it for 0-2. Now, as much as we built up that previous pitch, if she just strikes this girl out in three pitches right after, the one run really isn't that big of a deal because they'll probably be able to score two. The crooked number is what you're trying to fade. The three-run inning, the four-run inning. Hallie fires away and misses for ball one. That was our first, or first ball for this batter. Uh, I feel like she's looking to strike her out, get over with this uh, part of the inning, and get back into scoring this is territory, back into offense yep. so they can end this game. Yep, and here's the pitch. It's a good one, down and away, a good waste pitch that misses. She'll draw the count to two and two. Hallie fires, 2-2, two, two. that one fouled away, almost back into our kitchen. <laughs> it's a good pitch and a good swing. She just got a little bit under that and just enough for it to go foul yep. instead of go anywhere. She fought it off. Good defensive batting from her. Yes, very good. She is swinging and making fouls so she can stay in this game. That one... Smack to right field. The right fielder ranging in and reels it in with ease. Good, solid, fundamental play from her. The Bulldogs continue to dominate this game. Cooper put up a solid inning there, but only able to score the one run. This is Wiley Bulldogs softball, powered by Taylor Electric. The hunger to win is fueled by a chance to compete and the thrill of the action. The cheers from the crowd energize our team and push them on to victory. Whether it's the pregame excitement of tailgating or the postgame euphoria of winning celebrations. Market Street always brings an A-game to your party. From kickoff to tip-off and the final buzzer to the last out. Market Street is proud to feed the competitive spirit. Wiley Bulldog softball. It's been a great one for the dogs so far as they come back out on offense at the bottom of the third in a position to potentially run rule their opponents. They're up 14 to 1, as the UI accurately indicates here in the bottom of the third. If you're unaware, high school softball, there is a mercy rule uh, 15 runs after the third inning, 10 runs after the fourth. So the Bulldogs are in such a commanding lead here where a couple runs is going to do it. And the pitcher is still warming up here. And this has been a very one-sided game. Jaden, what have you thought about it so far? Oh, this game is absolutely phenomenal for Bulldog fans. Not as much Cooper fans, but they are trying to stay as into the game as they possibly can. And Wiley, even if they don't score two runs or one run, uh... If they make it past the fourth inning at this rate that they're going, they will win. Absolutely. This is a team that uh, in the bottom half of the innings, whenever they're on attack, have just absolutely lit up the Cooper pitching.
So the Bulldog third baseman is going to step up here. This is Winslow Miller. Pitcher fires, and that one misses up and away. It was just a little bit too high uh, for the strike zone it is one ball. Yep. One one count here. The Bulldogs essentially playing for two runs and they win here on walk off fashion. Cooper is looking for a no hit inning, just three straight strikeouts. Absolutely, as that one is laced down the left field line and almost Jimmy jacked. That one went over the fence, but foul by a couple feet is the powerful third baseman. Winslow Miller sent that one flying and that one just kept going. That was a serious knock for a softball game. That was a beautiful hit from Winslow down the left field foul line. Almost a home run and almost a, a beautiful hit. Yeah, that was one of those situations where really she just missed it by a couple feet. That one just kept traveling. That looked like one of the BP hits I gave up today during classes. That one's laced to the shortstop who reels it in for the first out. That was a good a uh, piece of the ball that Winslow got, but also a very good catch from the shortstop who uh, reeled in the first out. Yeah, and a great piece of hitting there by Winslow to really hammer the ball twice. There is a decent amount of luck in baseball when it comes to where you hit the ball and where the ball ends up and how far you can get based on that. As she fires one up and in, and that one again is yanked down the third baseline, but well foul, a significantly more foul and less tremendous than Winslow's shot, which just sort of uh, seemed to keep carrying. That one more of a standard long fly ball. Right. What I've seen so far at the bottom of the third inning is that our batters are giving it more and more power and more and more ferocity every time they swing. Absolutely. In the early innings, we saw a lot of patient, disciplined, opposite field contact hitting, which is great and served them well. In this inning, you're right, we do seem to uh, see them opening up a touch more as that one hammered right to shortstop again. Great play from her to reel it in, and Cooper really capturing momentum in the context of this inning. Uh, this inning has been all Cooper as far as the specific half inning. Yes, this inning has been really doing well for Cooper. They scored one run, uh, and they have gotten two outs by catches so far. For sure, far and away their best inning of the game. It's not even close, as that one is chopped into the ground and rolled foul. And I'm starting to notice that these weak little bleeder hits are really frequently hits in softball because of the rush distance from home to first. So a lot of if you ha get a chop like that, it's not necessarily like the sure out that it would be in baseball. Right. Wiley here is looking for a first base, a single or a double uh, to get into motion. Yep. Very low pitch. Uh, it is the count is one one. And with two outs here, the Bulldogs looking to add two runs to get to that mercy rule. But this inning's been all Cooper so far. Side ball, 2-1. Batter is looking here to get it through that gap and potentially get a uh, on base, get a single, so the next batter's up can potentially bring her home. Yeah, and that's the left fielder, Kinsley George, here. And she's going to smack it to left field. That one's going to fall. The left fielder corrals it, gets it into the cutoff, man. And that'll be a nice single there. Kinsley got a very, very good piece of that ball. It was a very beautiful hit uh, over third and shortstop and dropping just in front of left field. Yep. Nice stroke. She squared it up, as you said. And following her is going to be the eighth place hitter. That's number... Uh, 14, Kinsey Turner. 
and she will foul one down the third baseline as she represents the winning run, <coughs> excuse me, in some ways. That one misses and the back pick faked. Oh, one count here. That one is laced past the third baseman who dove and was unable to snare it, corralled by the left fielder, and two Bulldogs are on with two outs. That was a very beautiful hit straight down uh, third base uh, baseline. You know? Yeah, right hey. down the line. Beautiful hit by her. Those hits almost always get you extra bases. Great defense there by the left fielder to corral it. Cooper's defense is certainly steadied here in these uh, last run through. Of and because the of that beautiful hit, now the Bulldogs have a runner on second, which is considered scoring position. Yep, and she'll step right on third for the third out. So the Bulldogs fail the score, and Cooper will need to punch a few runs in here to not be mercy ruled in the fourth inning. This is Wiley, Bulldog softball, powered by Taylor Electric. Everyone should have access to a bright financial future. Because when everyone succeeds, we all do better. That's why Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union provides the tools and resources to help make your dreams come true. From buying your first home, to taking the vacation of a lifetime, to saving for retirement, we're here to help you achieve your goals. We serve everyday people in everyday life. Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union. Everyone's welcome. Equal housing lender. Member NCUA. At Wiley ISD, our career and technical education courses are designed to provide academic challenges for students. To us, it is vital for our students to earn important certifications that are recognized by not only promote college readiness to further their education, but springboard students in preparation for a career in current and emerging professions. Wiley ISD, it's a generation of in. Wiley Bulldog softball coming back at you. We have a new pitcher here for the dogs, and it's number 16, Avi Ferris. And she is replacing the ace of the ace of the staff, Hallie Russell, who had an incredible start and only gave up one meager run. Coach Call, you're electing to give her the rest as it looked like she was losing a little bit of her control, and it's also 14 to 1. Right. As uh, you were saying, this pitcher got switched out, and we have a new pitcher in here who seems to be a, not as powerful, but a very powerful pitcher, and she looks to have pretty decent control over the ball. Yeah, well, whenever you compare another softball pitcher to Hallie Russell, uh, she pitches with a sort of fervor and intensity that you would see in like a Randy Johnson if you were to compare her to a professional player. Very violent delivery right. and a delivery that's hard to pick up. So I agree with what you said, but uh, Hallie is very special in terms of her delivery and her skill set. So Wiley is going to try to close this game since there's a 10-run mercy rule in the fourth inning and the deficit here stands at over 10. Cooper is going to have to get something going here to stay in the game. Right. Cooper needs these hits and these runs to stay in the game so they don't get mercy ruled. But as we saw in the last inning, uh, Cooper is now holding the Bulldogs at somewhat of a standstill, halting their momentum and their scoring ferocity. That's beautifully put because the first two innings were all Bulldogs and that last inning Cooper recovered. And it's interesting when you consider the way the momentum shifted because Yes, the Bulldogs still have control of the game, but if we think about just the third inning in isolation, uh, this was an inning that Cooper did very well in, and if they weren't in a position where they had to fade a mercy rule, this would be something that you would really be talking about a lot more to try to build interest in the game, but as it stands, they have to score. Right. Swing away, and she misses it just barely. She's still up in the count with two balls and one strike. 
Ja. Peering in for the sign. Firing the heater away, and that one gets waved at. So AV Ferries, two and two, looking to shut the door on this one. Ali Russell in line for the win. She'll step out with the 3 2 count and check the coach for signs. That one misses low. That's a walk. Very crucial pitch for Cooper as they now have a player on base that, again, can potentially get them a run. Absolutely. Getting that leadoff run is always very important. It's also especially important whenever you're down to such a degree. And this is the speed flea pinch runner we saw earlier. Alvarado, first name Abby. Expect a bunt here. There it is, and it misses. And as you predicted, it was a bunt, but the ball was just a bit too low for that bunt, and it fouled out. Yeah, that one's hard to bunt, and expect him to keep the bunt on here, the coach meandering over, checking the signals. And really, the entire strategy of this player, Abby Alvarado, is to have her hit the ball on the ground and use her speed. Right. Her speed is a big tool in this Cooper offense as they use her to steal bases, get runs, and potentially put them back in the game. Absolutely. And there's the bunt right to the third baseman who makes the out at first. Great covering of the bag by the second baseman to be alert and the incredibly sure-handed and steady first baseman of Wiley again reeled that one in that's Kenzie Turner this is a player who is very aware defensively and always has exceptional positioning very beautiful play by the Wiley defense it looked to me like a catch but it wasn't but even after that, she turned around and got the force out at first. I agree, and I think that's what they're talking about. They call her out, so you nailed it, Jaden. It was a catch, and when they threw over it first and the runner had went, it becomes a force out. Thus, there are two outs. Cooper left with a meager one out to work with and a staggering deficit to overcome. They're going to need to break the 10-run deficit to avoid being run-ruled. Heater away, finds the zone, and good job by the umpires to have the gumption and the courage to come together and say, okay, that you saw her catch that, right? You're like, oh, I, it was close. It, she caught it? He's like, yeah, she caught it. And they got that one right. And this has been an incredibly well-officiated game across the board. And with an 0-2 count here and two outs, Wiley threatening to close it out here. It's been all Wiley so far. Those were two absolute dimes from the pitcher. It is now an 0-2 count. Ooh. That one just doesn't get called a strike. One, two count, two outs. Nobody on here. Wiley is looking for this final strike to end the top of the inning. Oh, he burns her down. There it is, the final strike. That is three outs. Wiley is now back up to bat. Even if they can't score, I believe Mercy Rule will take this game. Uh, I, think they're, I think because they're going in the bottom, it's like when you have a lead in the ninth, and it's over. At least that's what it looks like now is they're gathering outside the dugouts. Right. So it, it's, it turns out it's the, it's the fifth inning is the inning in which the mercy rule jumps from uh, 15 to 10 runs, not the fourth. So Cooper is going to come out here, and still this is a 13-run disadvantage. This is a situation in which they still, I mean, essentially everything we said is the same. It's just push back an inning as Cooper is in a lot of trouble here, uh, down 13 runs, and obviously, Wiley has played so well 
And while Cooper gets warmed up here, we're going to throw it to break. So this is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. The best part about working with children is you really never know what you're going to get. Every day, it's just a brand new experience working with them. You see them from a baby through their teenage years, and they become a part of your life and you become a part of theirs. My job is to make their experience really fun. I mean, we establish a good relationship, and over the years, we can kind of get rid of that fear and, and make them have a good time while they're here. The most important thing when you take your child somewhere is for them to feel loved and for them to feel safe, and I love that we're able to offer both of those things here at Abilene Pediatrics. At Taylor Electric Cooperative, we are more than just the services we provide. For generations, we have been the link that has connected members to our local community. From those who remember when the lights were first turned on to those who rely daily on our high-speed fiber internet, we are here to make certain that those connections never dim. Because we understand that the most important connection we will ever make is the one we make together. At Taylor Electric, we have provided generations with services for living and connections for life. Wiley Singleton returns with Wiley Bulldogs baseball. It's been all dogs so far. We're here in the fourth inning. Joining me, sensational commentator, Jaden Fensenko. What have you thought of this one so far, man? This game is very, very interesting with uh, the mo early momentum and early high-scoring lead that the Bulldogs have given us. But the halt in momentum after Cooper's uh, amazing defensive play. Yeah, and that one's laced into left field for a leadoff hit. That's Michaela Reed, the talented second baseman who was penciled into the top of the lineup today, doing what she does best, getting on base. She's a fundamentally sound, well-rounded player. Next up is the speed flea, Olivia Voles, who wears number two and was a nightmare on the base paths, stealing two bases last at bat. Oh, yes, and uh, there was actually a pinch hitter as Olivia Voles, the nightmare on the base pass, was subbed out for number five, Kinley Collier, pardon me, as the Bulldogs having a big lead are going to get some of their players who don't get as much playing time in. And I love to see that. I absolutely love in these high school athletics for the players who don't get to start every day to be able to get those looks and get those reps, Jaden. Right. I like that too because it shows the players that their coaches care and that they are a valued part of the team. Absolutely. And it helps you develop your skills when you get that live action Ooh. as she smokes that one right up the middle, right on the screws with that hit, an exceptional hit from the pinch hitter. And you love to see that. Amazing uh, hit by the batter going straight down the mound in, into center field. Yep. Kenley Collier, a beautiful single, and we're going to have another pinch hitter here. London Franklin, number three. She's going to get some hacks here. That one hammered to center oh. field, and the center fielder reins it in. Fires it to the cutoff man, and Michaela Reed is going to scamper home and touch the base. 15 to 1 dogs. That sort, was sort of an awkward slide there by Michaela. It really not much of a slide, and it sort of looked as though uh, as the catcher moved over to get the ball that sailed. Michaela sort of awkwardly maneuver around her and then just touched the bag awkwardly with her left hand. That one drawing a little bit of laughter from her teammates as it's all smiles here for the Bulldogs. They're loving this game. They're putting a hurting on their rival. And they're playing very well as a team. They're getting everyone involved as well. It's a feel-good story for the Dogs. That was a very beautiful hit uh, down into outfield. Uh, that brought the runner on second scoring and put another runner onto second base in scoring position. Exactly. And here we see the catcher remains, Cameron Gregory. And cleanup hitter, we'll see if she can add to her totals for tonight. Time's called. A few warm up swings, and we're back in the box. Yep, 0 1 count.
and she hammers it right to the shortstop who looks to get the lead runner and succeeds. One out. So one thing you notice with outs when there's multiple runners on, it seems as though the lead runner is seen as the realistic priority as opposed to the double play. Because the lead runner is mainly the quickest or the most agile runner on the team. Well, and you also prevent uh, a hole at first, which negates your forces. If you get the lead runner, you keep the force in play, which is huge. Right. That one misses outside, wild pitch, and the runners advance, the double play no longer in order. Now both runners are in scoring position, and if Winslow gets a good piece of this, they may both be able to score, and would that be the game after they score? Um, no, they, uh, Cooper would get to bat in the fifth. Okay. I'm almost certain. Winslow here almost hit a homer in her last at bat. And a breaking pitch misses away there. There's now two balls and zero strikes. Winslow doesn't need to move too fast with these pitches. She can stay patient because she's up in the count. That's a great point. And there's also one out. And because the first base is open and she's so powerful, they're likely to pitch around her. And she pops that one way sky high up in the air. The shortstop catches it the inf uh, in the infield around second base. And two outs here for the Cougars. There's now two outs and two runners on base, both in scoring position. Yep, and number 10, another sub is going to get the chance to do some damage. Uh, this is Landry Schlitz. Two runners on scoring position. That's a strike away. Beautiful pitch, beautiful call, beautiful positioning. Everything about that pitch was beautiful. It was out where the batter most likely wouldn't be able to reach, and if she could, it wouldn't be a very controlled or far ball. Exactly. And she's going to fire again. That one inside, almost hitting the batter. Again, if you're experiencing lag or stuttering on the stream, that has to do with the internet and doesn't have anything to do with us, and there's nothing we can do on our end to address that, we are recording a VOD locally that will get uploaded on the channel that will be bereft of lag and stutter. Timeout called 15 to 1 here for the dogs. It's been all Wiley, minus that uh, third inning which was about as forgettable as the new Star Wars movies, is the pitcher deals, that one being a slower pitch that misses high. She rocks and fires, and that one's fouled off. Foul tip, just a bit under the ball. Yep. Uh, causing it to go up and back and not going anywhere in field. Yep, up and in pitch, handcuffed her a bit. 2-2, two, two, two outs, Cooper fighting for their life. They sit at death's door, the Bulldogs, doing what they can. That one, sliced, foul. And that was a good pitch to hit. I think she yes. might want that one back. Yeah, that looked, from our angle up here in the press box, that looked like a beautiful pitch and a beautiful pitch that the batter wanted. She wants to get a piece of that and get it out of here. Yeah, that one around the middle of the plate, low in the zone, a happy zone for many hitters. Here's the pitch. And that one handcuffs her is going to squirt into shallow center field. And that is going to score a run. So the Bulldogs here have a 15 run advantage. That sounded and looked like a hurt. It looked from up here very close to the hands, which, if you don't know or haven't played, uh, a ball close to the hands tends to hurt more and get very, very... Uh, It'll jam you. It stings yes. your hands. So number 11... Caitlin Farless is going to be another pinch hitter. The 
pitch missing down and in as Coach Collier putting in more pinch hitters than Earl Weaver at the end of the 79 World Series, getting everyone from her bench involved. you love to see that. Wiley has one runner in scoring position on third and another runner on first. Yep, breaking pitch there, down and in, gets a swing and a miss, and the runner will scamper to second with ease. That, is, that now means that there are two runners in scoring position. Absolutely. She checks the coach's sign. And that one's laced into center field. That should score two, but uh, Coach Collier putting up the stop sign there. She got a piece of that, a beautiful hit right down the gap, uh, straight to what looks to be slightly right center field, uh, scoring another run up by 16 now. Yep. And here's Kinsley Turner again. That one misses in. That was a good eye. Uh, she's waiting for that one pitch because they're up so far. They don't have to worry about swinging at every pitch that comes their way. They're looking for a good, perfect pitch that they can hit and go get a good piece of. Absolutely. They can afford to be patient as that one is cranked into left field. Over the left fielder's head for extra bases. Hits the top of the wall. And Coach Coyer up with the stop sign. As big as Texas, holding her to a double. And that's a two RBI smash to left center field. The dogs pouring it on. That was an absolutely crushed ball right there. Caught... Two runs were scored, and now our runner is on second, which is, again, a scoring position for the Bulldogs. And here's number one, who is another pinch hitter. Here's the pitch. That one's cranked right to short, and she nails it. So another successful offensive inning from the Dogs as they continue to dominate the Cooper Cougars in this softball affair. This is Wiley Bulldog Softball, powered by Taylor Electric. At Borland Sobin & Partners, we're in our third decade of providing high-quality, affordable dental care in Abilene and the big country. Our family-friendly clinic offers comprehensive dental care for adults and children. Anything from hygiene and preventative care to cosmetic dentistry and dental implants. And don't worry, we do emergency services too. Our team of professionals understands the latest dental techniques and technology and welcome your questions as we develop the perfect treatment plan for you. And best of all, we offer same-day appointments if you're in pain. So schedule your appointment today and we'll see you soon. When it comes to finding the right vehicle for you, there's no better place than Lawrence Hall in Abilene. For over 34 years, Lawrence Hall in Abilene has been the place to find the best from Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. And that is still true today. Great products and great service, too. So the next time you need a new car, truck, or SUV, come see us or shop 24-7 at LawrenceHallAbilenOnline.com. Voted Abilene's best new car dealer for over 28 years by you, our customers. Welcome back to uh, Bulldog Softball, and we're here uh, with a one to nineteen or nineteen to one lead. Bulldogs in the lead. Uh, if the Bulldogs stop the Cooper Cougars from scoring, then that would be Bulldog game. Yeah, Cooper coming in here to bat in the top of the fifth. They are in danger of getting run ruled at a staggering nineteen to one disadvantage. Coach Collier's team playing nearly flawlessly. First pitch is thrown, and it is a strike. Yeah, Coach Reed and Morales also deserving a plethora of credit for this incredibly well-coached team, this team that has consistently taken the other base, driven the ball with force, and played sharp defense. That one. Second strike. Yep, that one's in and call the strike. Good call. Same pitcher from last inning. Avi Ferries. Yeah. 
Waved at, heater away. The Bulldogs continue their dominance. That was a beautiful first out. No hits, three straight strikes, and they're looking for two more. Yep, two more to go. It's been all dogs, this one. The crosstown rivalry being dominated by the Bulldogs in softball. That was four straight strikes thrown. Absolutely impeccable defense and impeccable control over the ball. Absolutely. You want to pound that zone, especially when you're ahead, is an incredibly brilliant pitch with lots of movement comes up and in. Here's the pitch. That one smoked into right field. The right fielder retreats a few steps and is able to reel it in for the second out. That was a beautiful hit by Cooper, but not far enough to get past right fielder. Yeah, good range there by the right fielder. She played that well. Didn't let it get past her. And here the Cooper Cougars are going to try to fade a lot of runs. They're trying to come back, and it is an enormous deficit. That one misses away. This is uh, number one, Aguilar at the plate, the third place hitter. That one is cranked into deep left field. That one will short hop the wall, and she is going to try to get extra bases off of that. It'll be a double for sure but a bright spot and what has been a bleak game for the Cooper Cougars, an incredibly solid hit to left field. Very, very good hit and a very smart decision by left fielder to take the cutoff, man, instead of throwing it straight to second base. Absolutely. Eater clips the outside portion of the zone there for the first strike. Bulldogs are looking for a quick third out right here. That one's waved at. Strike two. Two strikes, two outs. One more strike, and I believe that is game. Waved at. Strike three. Nineteen to one the score. And that's gonna be game. So the Wiley Bulldogs complete an utter decimation of the Cooper Cougars. A nearly perfect performance. Coach Collier and her cohorts had the team humming at a nearly perfect level. What jumps out to you? And if you were to award a player of the game, who do you think you're going to give it to? Well, me personally, I don't think any player should get a reward. I believe all players should get a reward for the well-oiled machine that they were today. Also, one thing that stood out for me, we uh, held, the Bulldogs held Cooper at an almost perfect standstill, only letting them score one run and only giving up one run in total. Yes, the Bulldogs played exceptional defense. They took the extra base. They consistently hit with force to the opposite field. Hallie Russell had an exceptional start. Uh, she shut the Cooper Cougars down early. It was a great game from her, but I love what you said. This is a true team effort. When you drop 19 runs on a squad, it's not going to be one person doing it. You could go down the box score and even into some of the pinch hitters that got into the game. This was a true team effort and an incredible game. So for Wiley Bulldog Productions, I am Wright Singleton, and I had some incredibly talented students with me tonight. Darion Hawkins, Jay Defensenko, Logan out in center field killing it, and Randon Boyles as well. So I would like to say a big thank you to all of our sponsors and a good afternoon, evening, and weekend to all of you. Make sure you sub 